In this video, I'm going to show you how to find some keywords from Reddit and then how to put them into a keyword cluster so you have a sort of a topical map and a way to approach the content. So I'm over here on SEMrush. That's the tool that we're going to be using for today. And I'm just sort of arbitrarily going to pick the subreddit on journaling. It looks like there's a bunch of people in here, almost 1 million people in this subreddit. So that's what we're gonna use. And you could use this method for any subreddit there is. And what we could do is just pop in here and search for that. I did some of this ahead of time, so we won't have to wait for too long for uh, certain processing, but rest assured it actually works pretty fast here on SEMrush. So in this case, we're looking at the subfolder, the journaling subreddit, like I mentioned, and it gives us you know some good information. So overall, from an organic standpoint, it's like 18,000 uh, traffic per month is what's reported here. Uh, chances are it's much higher than that, but that's what we're looking at in this case. And it's, it's always good just to get a little bit of a lay of the land and take a look at the information here. As a lot of us know, Reddit has gotten a bit of a traffic boost here recently. So if you look at the the 10 year graph here, Reddit has exploded. There's been some up and, and down and that sort of thing. But today, as I mentioned, we're kind of gonna look at the keyword area. So let's go into the top organic keywords here. And we could actually see like the distribution in this case, a lot of the positions are kind of further out. But the thing is there's about 8,000 organic keywords that Reddit slash, you know, the subreddit of journaling ranks for. So let's hop in here and I'll show you a couple cool things. We're not going to be able to go in depth. If you want me to go further in future videos, let me know and I should be able to dive in a little bit more closely. So we are looking at the specific positions here and we have these sorted by the traffic right here. So like that's why they're in this specific order. The search volume is here and there's some other information as well. One thing, just to get an idea of how many keywords we're really gonna look at, let's just look at the top, say 20 positions or so to narrow it down. I'll leave the volume this like current at what it is. So now we're down to about 3000. So that does whittle it down a little bit. Let's assume we're looking at like a new, a newer site. So we'll look at the keyword difficulty up to, we'll say 29. So that keeps it in the easy range overall. And again, we're just kind of whittling it down to low competition, most likely long tail keywords. So this is a nice way to do it. One really cool thing for the people that are paying really close attention, there's this intent column and we could actually filter on that. So that is informational, navigational, commercial, and transactional. So if you are looking for how to's, then informational would fit the bill. If you're thinking about affiliate reviews or affiliate type content, then commercial would work a little bit better. Both are valid. They just have sort of a different approach to, you know, the kind of content that you would be creating and what you're going for. So for now, let's just look at informational and see how many keywords we end up with then. And I'm not showing you every single piece of information. We're just kind of going through quickly today. So now we're down to about 1,000 keywords, which is still a lot of keywords. And if you go in here, you would end up filtering out some. In fact, let me show you. Some people filter on uh, like Reddit. So some people will actually be searching for Reddit results. So we're going to exclude any results where someone is actually looking for Reddit because we're not going to rank for it. The person's literally looking for the Reddit results. So quite a few might drop out from this one, but that's a good one to do. And for example, if you wanted to filter out all the best of type keywords, you could do that or anything with review. It's obviously just a text filter in this situation. So you can whittle it down and end up in kind of where exactly where you want to be. There's some other things you could do. You could filter on search volume or if there's any uh, search SERP features or anything like that. So this is a cool way to narrow it down. 
and you could export these and kind of sort and look at them just to get an idea. You could filter some out. Some may not be relevant to what you're trying to do. For example, this one says how to draw a goat. Maybe you don't cover any goats on your website or you don't do any drawing or something like that. So maybe you would figure out that you want to filter out anything that deals with uh, barnyard animals, for example. Nothing against barnyard animals. I love those furry little guys and gals, but whatever makes sense for you. So this is a way that you can get a bunch of keywords and just kind of filter them and look at them and have a, a good idea what's going on. But these days, content clusters and topical authority is important. It's very important and it's great to have a prioritized approach so that you're not randomly just publishing a whole bunch of different topical areas within journaling. So one thing you could do is head over to the keyword magic tool over here and see what's going on. And I believe that is the, the right spot that we need to head towards. And you could put in kind of a, a more general high level keyword here, and then it'll uh, narrow it down. And that is a great way to approach it. So one other area, I'm going to go to the keyword manager because I've actually saved something from earlier, but we could type in a seed keyword like uh, journaling prompts, for example. And it was very quick to create this list. So we have journaling prompts and that's the seed keyword. So when I click over here, it gives us the cluster. So it's 25 clusters with 572 keywords, as we can see right here. And they have different intents listed, the number of keywords for that specific cluster, the keyword difficulty, and the total search volume. This is really amazing. This is something that there are services out there that will come up with keywords and then put them in clusters for you and all that stuff. And it does it right here within SEMrush. So if we open this up here, we could dive in to the specific keywords. Now, you'll notice something. You, you can't take this list and just use it as the ultimate list of keywords for that cluster. You need to go through here and figure out which ones are super similar. Some of them are are literally the same one. They're just written a little bit differently. For example, the first two listed here. So morning journal prompts and morning writing prompts. Are those really different? Can we combine those? Is the search intent really the same? They might not be. There might be a certain, you know, writer, morning writing prompts. Maybe that's for authors. Maybe that's a nonfiction thing. And journal, maybe journal prompts are more personal, they're more internal and it's a little bit different. So maybe you can combine them, maybe not. You have to look and think about it. So we have morning journal prompts for students. This is an awesome way to look at it, right? So you can get a couple ideas here. You can put different avatars in there. So a student is a specific kind of person, but Maybe we could expand that and come up with like 20 different ideas, right? So I don't have ChatGPT open, but if I wasn't feeling too creative, I might take this and go morning journal prompts for students and say, what are 50 different avatars? What are different 50 different people that I can maybe come up with journaling prompts for them? So maybe it's morning journal prompts for parents, for single mothers, for yogis, for pet owners, for cat owners, for horse writers, equestrians, I think that's the right word, fill in the blank for people that are into uh, mobile phones, for photographers. I'm just listing stuff now. So, and I'm not creative. I'm just listing stuff that's on my desk. So you get the idea. You can come up with dozens of different ideas. And if you use a AI tool, then you're in great shape. So this is just one example. The other thing is they have sort of a, a blend of intent. So this specific one, maybe there's a little informational, there's a little bit of commercial intent. And by the way, there are 25 clusters. So I was just going over one of them. Essentially, you can do this and come up with enough keywords for your whole website, at least for a year or something, right? If there are 572 keywords in here, and let's say 
we can filter out 40% of them. I'm just making up that number. It'll be different every uh, niche that you look at. But let's say you can get rid of about 40% due to irrelevancy. Maybe they're a little bit similar and they're a little bit duplicate and you can combine some. So if you get rid of 40%, let's say we roughly have then 345 keywords or something like that. So you have 345 keywords. Each one needs an article. So we're talking like 345 articles. That's a lot, right? So at that point, you're like, can I publish one article per day? I don't know if you can. The point is you can get a lot of keyword ideas. And what, it took me about 10 minutes to go through this. It would take probably a couple hours to look at all the keywords we have here and then figure out which ones we want to use. And you maybe don't need to find any more keywords for a very long time because you have what you need here. So this is one of the great ways to use some rush to find keywords from Reddit and then create a content cluster So you have topical authority in that area. And by the way, you have an idea if it's a informational, commercial, et cetera. And it gives you a ton of information here, including the keyword difficulty. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.